from my heart and from my hand Why don't people understand my intention? Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are continuing to work down the list of things that we need to double check for compatibility with an electric motor. So today's topic is actually brakes. Now we've already discussed that we're changing the front brakes to discs, but obviously there are two parts to any braking system. But before we get started on the topic of brakes, I just want to share this with you. In the last video, uh, we were focused on the dashboard and I mentioned to you that we'd ordered a new custom switch panel. Well, that's actually arrived now and I'm really pleased with this. Uh, this is made by a company called Wired by Wilson. And uh, if you check out their website, they do all sorts of configurations. Really nice uh, work these guys do. As you can see, the electric's extremely tidy and good quality total switches and the engraving on the front. And as I said, they can basically do any combination that you want. I think they even do uh, carbon fiber panels as well, which is really nice. So I'm, I'm super pleased with that. I'm looking forward to uh, fitting that. And as I said, check these guys out. It's wiredbywilson.co.uk. Good stuff. Okay guys, so back to the topic of brakes. Um, Brakes are as important to look at when you're considering electric drivetrain conversions because there are a number of approaches on how to achieve uh, the right sort of braking power. And obviously with the Minis uh, being many, many decades old, they've had quite a few different iterations of braking systems put on board. Um, fortunately enough, I do have two examples here that I just want to walk you through uh, the things you need to consider when you're looking at a drivetrain uh, conversion. So let's take a look at these cars. So if we take a look at this braking system first, this is a late uh, Mini, and uh, probably most of you are familiar with this type of braking system because it's actually fitted to many modern cars today, still using the very same principle. And basically what it is, is it's uh, vacuum assisted. You have a vacuum chamber here with a pipe that runs into the manifold that the combustion from the engine creates a vacuum which makes the uh, braking feel much lighter. Some people say it feels more efficient. I'm not sure about that, but certainly uh, it fits a broader spectrum of users or drivers. Uh, now the challenge we've got is that uh, obviously we have no combustion engine, which means we have no vacuum coming from the electric motor. Now, uh, modern electric cars uh, have found solutions around this by fitting various types of vacuum pumps. Uh, some electrical, some braking systems are uh, mechanically assisted, um, but uh, we want to try and keep it as simple as possible. Now if we check the braking system on the earlier Mini, this is a Mini from the 80s. You can see here this braking system has no vacuum, and no connection or relation to the engine at all, which keeps the braking nice and simple. The challenge with these is, is that they are uh, much stiffer on the brake pedal. Uh, some people don't like that. It's not a problem for me as such, and actually I kind of like the tactile feel of these systems uh, because you really feel when the pad touches the rotating disc. So uh, we will probably fit uh, a simpler system. Again, I want to try and keep this uh, electric conversion as simple as possible. One of the other things to keep in mind as well, obviously, is that uh, we do have regenerative braking on the conversion because we need to get some recharging back into the batteries. So when that system is switched on, you do feel resistance and the car slowing down as well. So you probably don't need as much effort to use this type of system in braking as you actually feel. So uh, that's probably the direction that we're going to go in. Okay guys, that's it for this small update. Again, we're considering each of the, uh, the compatibility issues for electric drivetrain conversions as we go along. Um, one more thing to consider in the next update that I'll share with you later on. In the meantime, I hope you guys are safe, stay negative and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.